The Texas man who shot and killed a gunman inside of his own church is now telling his story. Jack Wilson says he needed just one shot to take down the man who killed two of his fellow churchgoers on Sunday. Wilson was one of several people inside the church who drew a weapon and responded within just a few seconds. Maria Villarreal is outside the West Freeway Church of Christ in West Settlement, Texas, near Fort Worth. Uh, Maria, good morning to you. It was quite something to listen to Mr. Wilson recount what happened inside the church. Absolutely, David. Let me tell you, Jack Wilson, who has a law enforcement training, told me he is thankful to God that he had the right skills to take down this gunman. You know, the congregation right now, they are trying to focus and move past this tragedy, focusing solely on the two parishioners they lost. It's my honor to pray here tonight. Outside the West Freeway Church of Christ Monday Holy night, Spirit, the community gathered to honor two parishioners gunned down inside this sanctuary. Richard White and Tony Wallace. I lost two great men, friends, men that I consider putting above myself, who did the same for me. Service was interrupted Sunday morning when a gunman got up from a pew and approached Wallace at the back of the church before pulling out a gun and opening fire. A live stream captured the horror. I took out some evil. I took out someone that was evil and had evil intent. Jack Wilson is being hailed as a hero for taking down the gunman. I don't consider myself a hero at all. Did what I was trained to do. Wilson is a firearms instructor and head of the church's security team. The 71-year-old confronted the shooter who just seconds earlier pulled out a shotgun and killed two men. I only fired one round and it was, you know, the only shot I had, which, you know, was a headshot. The gunman was identified as Keith Kinnunen, a 43-year-old homeless man from River Oaks, Texas. Wilson said he noticed him immediately. But what really you know, chimed in was the fact that he was wearing a wig and a you know, fake beard and a toboggan on his head. And the, and the long coat. According to Oklahoma court records, the gunman had a history of mental health issues and violence, including aggravated assault, battery, and arson. In 2012, his ex-wife was granted an emergency protective order from him. The FBI is working with local and state investigators to figure out what may have motivated this attack. My understanding is they didn't necessarily have a direct connection. He'd been here, I think, several times. And, and they always are, I think, my understanding is they're very open to helping people that are, that are transient. The president tweeted out his condolences to the victim's family while also praising the parishioners that helped in the situation and the Texas law that allows them to carry a gun inside a church. The West Freeway Church of Christ has set up funds for the families to help them with funeral costs and meals as they try and make it through this tragedy. Jerika. Maria, thank you very much. Well